Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome to My Neighbor in Need, an RPG Maker horror game by the wonderful, talented Arcade Kitten. Without further ado... Do you want to see the content warnings for this game? I guess that would be a kind thing to do. Okay. Oh my god. The only memories I have of my mother are from pictures on the wall. As I understand it, my mother left my father sometime after I was born. I don't know why, and no one ever told me. But it did create some tension in my household. Dad and my big sister Tabby used to fight. A lot. I don't even know what most of their fights were about, because at a certain point I'd just turn off my hearing aid as soon as I heard the yelling part. I think it had something to do with Dad being too strict from the way Tabby would rant about it after. But I didn't want to get involved and I didn't want to pick sides. I loved both of them and I didn't understand why they couldn't get along. I was there, and I knew the three of us were all capable of creating happy memories together. So I didn't understand why it couldn't always be like that. At one point, the fighting got so bad. I remember hearing, right before I turned my aid off, Tabby saying something like, Now I get my mom left. I didn't turn my hearing aid on for the rest of the night, and naturally took it out to go to bed later. But I ended up being jostled awake in the middle of the night by Tabby. She had a strange expression on and was wearing a backpack over her shoulders. She was pushing her childhood stuffed toy into my hands and speaking to me, but of course I couldn't hear. She must have realized that, though, because she looked like she laughed a little to herself and then sighed to me, I promise to write. Then she got up, walked out, closed the door to my room, and I never saw her again. Tabby ran away that night. I'm not sure to where. She did write, as promised. She sounded like she was having fun out there, meeting new people, doing new things. There was never a return address. I don't know how she ever got the letter to us. I was sad I couldn't write her back. Especially because Dad and I didn't stay in that house forever. We moved, more than once. For work stuff, for money stuff, you know how it goes. So we haven't gotten any letters since. It's been years. I hope Tabby's still doing okay. I carry around the toy she gave me everywhere, so at least she feels close. Despite everything that's happened, I still like my dad. We get along really well, and I can tell he loves me. We're always doing things like playing baseball together and going to the movies. He even plays video games with me sometimes. He's actually pretty good. Tabby always used to talk about him being strict, and I wonder if part of that stuck with him. Because ever since she left, it feels like he's been pretty loose on the reins. He even pushes me to go outside and get out of the house. Even when I don't want to. Relatable. Oh my god. Allie! Yeah? What are you doing? I'm watching TV. That's what you were doing this morning. Come on, you still have a few hours of sunlight left. Go play outside for a bit. Get some fresh air. Ah, come on, I don't want to go outside. What if Pincer's out there? I thought you and Pincer were friends. We used to be, but he sucks now. Hey, language. Whoa. Well, he does. I'm just finishing up some paperwork when I'm done. I don't want to see you on the couch. Okay, I'll be on the carpet. You can watch more TV later. It's not like they're playing anything new at this hour anyways. Ah, eh, fine. Ugh, oh, that eye roll. 
Move. Okay. Yes. Whoa. Okay. We are so cute. Look at us. Do we have our toy? Let me see. Oh, we don't have items. Saving. All right. Let's see. Little cat paw. So are we cats? What are we? Some drawers holding a lamp on top. The drawers are so empty. What a waste of space. You wish you could stay on the couch a little longer, but you know if you sit back down, you won't want to get up again. That should be secret ending right there. Just don't do anything Dad ever says. All that's on are reruns of things you've already seen before, so at least you're not missing anything. Life before the internet. Some sort of big leafy plant. You're never sure why adults like to decorate their homes with big leafy plants in the corner of the room. Surely there's a more exciting way to use the space. Oh my god. Books. Eh, books are fine. And also not your favorite way to spend your free time. Uh-huh. Let's go say hi to Dad. Hey, Dad. Whoa. Wait, what? There must be another room I'm not seeing. Hey, it's a little buddy and his friend. A baseball-themed little buddy sitting with his friend. Oh, my. So is this our room? What a fancy room. We're a sporty gal. Your baseball stuff. You bring it outside, but there's no one to play baseball with. It's okay. Dad said he'd take you to the local softball team's tryouts next week. I want to say, the one thing that I am jealous of with people who have hearing aids... All things considered, being able to turn off your hearing aids must be so amazing. When you just want to shut out the world. Silver lining. Some drawers holding a lamp on top. The drawers are okay. What about bed? Let's just go to bed. It's cozy enough and offers you a nice view of the street and your neighbor's house. Okay, so we've got a little plug for the neighbor. Maybe they're a freak. A comfy chair to sit on. You play video games in this spot. Too bad you lent out your favorite one. Pincer, give me back my video games. Dresser drawers filled with some clothes and some junk. Your handheld console's in here, but you don't really want to take it outside. Let's go beat up Pincer. Give me back my video game. I'm just assuming. Father, nourish me. Kitchen cabinets filled with all their usual kit. Okay. Incredibly uninteresting. Absolutely. Yavin, you're allowed to use this as long as Dad's in the room. Can we use it right now? We're going to... Make something. You look inside the fridge? Uh-huh. Wow. Nah, there's nothing you really want right now. Okay. Dad, you are the most interesting thing in this room, but I gotta check. The sink, you already put away the dishes this morning. Oh, we have chores, too. Let's sit with Dad. Dad, how are you? With those bills. Colorful decorative plates hang on the wall. I literally have. Well, my parents have. At their house. Colorful decorative things... Wait, no, they have, like, the ocean printed on them. Colorful decorative plates hang on the wall. They're pretty fun. The red one is your favorite. Okay. Lord drop. Favorite color red. Okay. All right, Dad. Talk to me. Hey, alley cat. Didn't I just tell you to go outside? I wanted to... Dad, I missed Tat. Oh, shit. We'll end on that one. What are you doing? Paying bills? Uh-huh. Looks boring. It is boring, but somebody's got to do them. Understandable. What's for dinner? Not sure yet. I was going to go grocery shopping after this. See what I could make from there. Could we get a, uh, what's it, takeout? Why? Don't you like my cooking anymore? No, I never liked your cooking ever. What do you mean anymore? No, I'm just like really in the mood for hot dogs. I don't think there's a takeout place for hot dogs, Alley Cat. Let's see, does this put me contextually in a part of the world I don't know? There used to be a restaurant-y thing called Orange Julius when I was traveling around that sold fancied-up hot dogs. There's no Orange Julius in this world. I don't even know if there's an Orange Julius in my world still. Well, there should be. Maybe I'll make one one day. I thought you were going to be a baseball star. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Dude, just do both. Baseball stadiums are always handing out hot dogs. Win-win. Haha, there you go. Can you help me practice baseball? Not today, but I'll plan some more time soon. Getting excited about tryouts, huh? Uh, yeah? That's why I want to practice a lot. I gotta... Oh, I gotta get in. Hey, I have no doubts you're gonna school all the other kids there. I hope so. Thanks. 
What a supportive father. I like him so far, but I'm sure that there's something terrible. Look at his face. He's hiding something. Let's play video games. You don't want a, me to play video games with you. I don't? Why wouldn't I? Because I'd kick your ass. Whoa, language. I'm an adult. I can say it. When can I say it? Uh, when you're taller than me. Uh, how tall are you? Don't worry about it. Okay, Dad. Bring it on. Okay, Daddy Miss Tabby. Yeah, me too. Oh. On days like today, it becomes more of a paperwork station. All right, well, let's get the heck out of here. Thank you, Dad. So far, no bad vibes about Dad yet. You look out to the street, it's a beautiful day, you don't see anyone outside. Perfect. Isn't that funny how I was like, I'm gonna look out the window and make sure nobody's there before I leave. Maybe I'm the same wavelength as Allie. Maybe that's a... that's a good thing. Alright, let's sneaky sneak out. Okay, normal enough. Oh, beach vibe. Alright, it's pretty nice out. It's been almost a year since we moved into this house. Unlike the others, this one is... One, it looks like we'll be staying at for the foreseeable future. I mean, why would you want to leave? We're down by the shoreline, which means we get sand lining the streets and palm trees in our front yard. It's pretty hard to complain about being made to go outside with weather like this all the time. True. The sun's always bright and shining, but the breeze that wafts in from the sea keeps things nice and cool. Oh, you're making me jealous. I'll always complain about getting sand in my sneakers, though. Then don't wear sneakers. Go barefoot. Barefoot Contessa. All over the... What is this? Oh, it's a jump rope. It's time to jump rope. Press the... Oh, no. Press the correct arrow keys from left to right before the timer runs out. Oh, my God. Quick time events? Dang, I didn't realize I was so good at this. Oh, should I... What does a failure situation look like? No, <laughs> we just don't say anything. What if we get a couple in a row? Nope, okay. We already did it. We already got the points. More exercise. I want to help this girl succeed at baseball. Maybe these are secret stats. Now we're gonna draw something. I'm digging this vibe. There's some sidewalk chalk you left here. Sure, why not? What would you like to draw? I will draw a cat. Maybe a snail? Crap. I think I'll draw a cat, because I'm a cat. Yeah, there you go. Reminds you of Tabby. Cute. I would like to draw more. You already drew a picture, and now the inspiration well's drawn dry. Oh, ain't that the worst. Are these hop... No way! I'm digging these dynamic shots. It's time to play Jax. Press the correct... Oh, no. Here we go. Nice! I thought I wasn't good at Jax. Huh. It's kind of boring outside with no one to play with. Picture! Maybe a night. Oh. A need. A need? Okay, I gotta figure out. <sighs> I mean, if it's a name, it's gotta be a need, right? Will let me camp out at her house till sunset. Alright. Are they across the street? Hey, I was calling to you. Called it. Oh, there you are. Damn, thought that aid was supposed to help you. For a cat with such big ears, you really can't hear shit, huh? Hey, fuck off. Well, for a crab, you sure live up to the name. Son of a... This is Pincer Chase. He's a red crab that lives a little further down the block. When I first moved in, we got along pretty alright. And then puberty hit. Look at him with his ripped denim sleeves. You look like you're... I don't know. I'm trying to place the exact thing that I'm thinking of. Do you have a... Oh my god, you have an eyebrow piercing. What a rebel. But not rebel enough to not wear a pink shirt. Good guy at heart. He'd play with me a lot, and we... Even used to lend each other stuff. 
but these last few months, I don't know what happened, but he changed. He always got such an attitude, and now he hates me for no reason. What are you doing out here? Playing with Jock? Jax? Ah, I thought you would have outgrown that by now. Though well, I guess I can't say much when the baby still carries around her dolly. Hey, babe. What are you talking about? You're only two years older than me, barely. And yet you act like you're ten years younger than me. Well, maybe I wouldn't have to be playing with such baby stuff if somebody returned my copy of Calamity Heroes. Eh, well... Well, where is it, huh? It's my video game, and if you don't give it back, you're stealing from me. And I'm gonna tell my dad on you, and he'll make you give it back. Ha, ah, getting your dad on me? See, you are a baby. You can't even fight your own battles without calling daddy for help. Oh, you just wait. I'm a cat. I'll scratch ya. I'm not a baby. You think you're so much grown up than me because you grew that gross kill caterpillar on your face. Oh my god, he does it. What the? Why was I not expecting him to have a crab ant? Just what is happening out here? Ah, an Eid. Whoa. That's my neighbor in need. Okay, well, I'm getting cone snail vibes, so she's probably poisonous. In need is awesome. We're like best friends. We talk like all the time. Hmm. She lets me help her with her garden in her backyard. Whoa. And she brings over dessert on the holidays. And she smells really pretty all the time. She even babysits me sometimes if dad's gonna be all right. Oh, gonna be gone all night. One time I heard Dad tell her that he appreciates her spending time with me. I think it's because all the other girls in my life left. But if there's only one girl in my life, I won't complain about it being a need because it need rules. Okay, we really like her. Like, whoa. Are we fighting out here? She started it. Nuh uh. Yuh huh. Alright, calm down. What's happening, Allie? Panzer took my game forever ago and won't give it back. Prinzer, is this true? I was gonna. Hey, don't take that tone with me. I'll take whatever tone I fucking want. And I swear, should I tell your father about this? Our date's tomorrow night, and I'm not afraid to bring it up to him during it. Oh shit. Okay, tell him. I don't care. Pinch, pinch. And pulling your claws out at me. Oh, I'm sure he'd love to hear this. The disrespect. Ah, whatever. Who gives a shit? You suck and he sucks too. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Sorry for yelling out here, Anid. It's alright. Are you okay? Better now that you're here. Dad forced me to come outside and play while the sun's still out. But... I knew I'd run into stupid old pincer if I did. Wish I could just go home now. Other than that annoying thing, it's just boring out here. I see. Lucky for you then. I'm all so bored and I've got a matcha cake inside I can't possibly eat all by myself. A matcha cake? Oh heck yeah, this is why you're the best. Haha, <laughs> I tried. Whoa, your house doesn't have a TV. So, how is it everything I built it up to be? Oh, this is so good. You, you like get flavors I never even heard of before. I don't know where you find these. Ah, happy to expand your horizons. Thanks for helping me out back there, too. pincer has been so annoying lately. Like, more than usual. Many time, Allie. <laughs> And I can't believe you're dating his dad. Ugh. I wonder if he thinks of you like his stepmom or something. Stepmom? Oh, goodness. You're thinking much further ahead than I am. I prefer to take things slow. Maybe that's why all the girls down by the shoreline call me such a snail. Oh, that kind of snail. Oh, cone snail. Right. I already figured that out. We can kind of see it on her belt, too. Her pants. Her skirt. Indeed, you are a snail. I know, I know, but I don't like to think of myself as a stereotype. 
Besides, being a snail isn't the only reason I'd like to take my time with things. You do everything better when you pace yourself. If anything, more people should learn to take it slow. Everyone's so rush, rush, go nowadays. Rushing just causes mistakes and leaves you in a mess. Ellie, are you alright? Anit, you don't think I'm too much of a kid, do you? Nah, where did this come from? Answer kind of makes fun of me for it. You know, playing with toys and jacks, carrying this old stuffed toy around, that's fine, you do you. And I don't know, hearing you say what you just did, it's like part of me wants to be grown up already, but also, uh, is it okay to, you know, take a little extra time getting there? Oh, Allie, of course. Everyone goes at their own speed. And even when you do grow up, it doesn't mean you have to stop being a kid at heart either. I mean, just look at me for example. I like plenty of things one might call childish or even silly. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what? Well, for one, I have cake in my house much more often than I should. And I keep every gift I get, regardless of how childish one might think they are. Stuffed toys, little figurines. I even keep the packages if they're pretty enough. That's, like, not weird at all, though. I still remember one of my favorites being a little gift bag with a smiley clown on it. You do... Do you get a lot of gifts, Sinead? Well, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything. How come I never see them around, then? Oh, I have them stored away for my safekeeping. It'd be much too messy if I displayed them all. Okay. Uh. And this way, I know they're safe. But I hope you might feel comforted in knowing that. Even grown-ups still like all the same fun stuff kids do. We just tend it, hide it more, that's all. You know, that actually does help me feel a little better. Thanks. You're really a... Allie? Thanks for being my friend. I wish I was more like you. Hmm. I think... I think we're gonna go with this one. I think that's what I'm feeling right now. Oh, aren't you just a little sweetie? Thank you for thinking of me so kindly. You've got a really big heart, Allie. I'm almost jealous. Oh shoot, I wasn't even paying attention to the time. The sun's already setting. Should I uh, get out of your hair? Normally, I'd say you can stay as long as you'd like. But yes, might be a bit better for me if you leave now. I've got to get up early tomorrow and I've still got to make a proper dinner and take a shower. Oh yeah, it's totally fine. I'll catch you some other time, Anit. Thanks for letting me hang out. As I said, anytime. Thank you, bye for the matcha cake. What an excellent flavor choice. S-tier character. I wonder if Dad made dinner. Pinter. Ah, what are you doing out here? You were waiting here like a loser until I left the needs. Ew, don't flatter yourself, as if I'd be waiting out here for you. I'm on my way home, dumbass. In case you forgot, I live on this street too. Don't call me a dumbass. Then stop being such a fucking dumbass. You know what? I hope a need does become your stepmom. Excuse me? You could learn a thing or two from her. Like how to stop bullying the neighborhood girls like a big, dumb baby. I ain't the fucking baby here. You sure look that way to me. Always whining and crying and throwing tantrums. Anyone would think you're a bigger baby than I am. Well, until they saw that ugly excuse of a mustache. Oh, fuck you. Hey, idiot, let go. You know, I wouldn't have to call you such a baby all the time if you just grew up already. Whoa, hey. What the heck? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. I gotta go. Yeah, weirdo. What the heck was that all about? And he acts like I'm the one with a screw loose. Whatever. It's only a needs house. Uh, uh oh. Uh, 
She must already be in the shower. Come on, I really want to wait till tomorrow to get it, but... Go in. Go in. Go in there. Yes. It'll be fine. It's a need. She'll know to take good care of it for me. I just hope I can sleep all right without it. Oh boy. Was there a poster I didn't look at on the tree? Hey, kiddo. Have fun out there? Ah, uh, no, Dad. What's with the attitude? Because I was right and stupid Pincer was out there and he threw Tabby's doll into a needs house. Pincer's really got you twisted lately, huh? Want me to talk with him or his dad or something? Be a big girl. Mm. Let me see. I think this would be consistent with... Hmm. I'll be a big girl this time. No, I'll, I'll take care of it myself. Ha, that a girl. Just be nice about it. Be easy on him, okay? Why should I? He's the only one always starting things. I know, I know. But he's going through a lot, don't you think? Ain't easy when your dad starts dating someone new, trust me. And I'm not defending him. He's still in the wrong. But people usually don't act out for no reason. Most of them don't anyway. All right, I get it. I'll go easy on him. But if he... I'll try to go easy on him. a girl. I had a rough time falling asleep that night, and I really wanted Tabby's old doll back. But I was eventually able to relax enough to fall asleep. I reassured myself that a need would keep him safe and sound. The next morning, the first thing I did was stop by a needs house to try and get him back. Dangling, here I go. Gonna pick up my doll. And read the poster. Missing poster's been attached to the chunk of the tree. Shows a picture of a young adult man. Uh-oh. The poster states that he was last seen leaving work early for a date he had. Uh-oh. There's a number to call if he should be found. And the number is? This poster's been hanging here for weeks. I need are you eating men? Oh. Can we look through the window? Need knocked up. Ooh, the window's open. Oh, wait, that's right. He threw it in through the window up there. Dude, what a shot. You jerk, you should go get it back. Knock, knock. Uh, Need, hello. It's Allie. I wanted to know if you found my plushie last night. H hello? There's no way she's still asleep at this hour. She must not be home. Gah. Sneak in. Ah, damn it. Uh-oh. Okay, I definitely heard that. Oh, there we go. Hey there. Okay. I'm gonna look across the street. You don't have anybody across the street. No fair. Oh, the cute little shells on the ground. Hey. Hi. Why'd you shout earlier? Died to this boss. You're playing Calamity Heroes? Yeah. You said you wanted the game back, and I am gonna give it back. I just wanted to beat it myself first. Hey, Pincer, why are you so mean to me lately? I don't know. Is it because of a need? Maybe. Could be. I'm uh, really sorry about what I did yesterday, if it means anything. I don't know what came over me. Please, I thought that just said please do it again. I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have said all that mean stuff either. That's nah, fine. Don't sweat it. How far in the game are you? Can I see? I'm stuck on the Cridget boss fight. Cridget. Which stage? Did you get up to their form with all the eyes? Ah, I didn't even know there was more than one stage. Let me see where your levels are at. No, you're playing as the girl, Avatar. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. She looked cooler than the other protag options. 
What'd you name her? Claudie. I like that name. It sounds really cool. Yeah, you think so? For sure. All right, sick. If you want help beating the boss, I know where to get some upgrades. Spill then, because grinding for XP isn't exactly helping. Oh, my. Okay, first you've got to... You're gonna wanna tra backtrack a bit to the Cave of Shadows. There's a hidden waterfall where you can get a stronger sword. Oh, this is an RPG. After that, head back into town and talk to the shopkeep where, where you can buy... Woo! Dang. I thought we'd only get past Kredja. Didn't think we'd get three more bosses after. I'm getting my game back fast. Forgot how fun that game was. Jeez, it's getting dark now, though. Give me my, my doll. Wait, it needs lights are on. I can go ask for the doll back. Ed, wait. It needs lights are on. Isn't she supposed to have that date with Mr. Chance tonight? No way she's home that early, is she? Hmm. I knocked on a needs door. But to my surprise, her door was unlocked and it opened as soon as I touched it. I don't know what came over me. I probably should have went and told Dad or something. But I guess I was just so worried about her that I went inside to look. Oh no. A need? Saving. Hey, saving. Where's my doll? Look at her fridge. There's some notes hanging on a needs fridge. To-do list. Buy new garden shovel. Uh-oh. Clean basement. Uh-oh. Call Reginald. Oh, Reginald? What? And see if he'd like to go out next weekend. Do not take no for an answer. Reggie, careful. Eh, that's saying. Mr. Chance's first name isn't Reginald. Who's she writing about, then? Hmm. You know better than to poke your nose through these. Do it anyway. Dude, I want to know. It's wet. It was recently used. Oh, my God. Anid Zafar seems to be preheating. She has to be home. Right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Catching cabinets. No, poke your nose. Oh, my God. The drawers are open fine, but no trace of your doll can be seen inside. All right. Let me think here. You attempt to open the door, but it's locked. What the? Behind this door is a hall closet. It's stacked up to the walls with cleaning supplies. Most still unopened or untouched. Interesting. Okay. So does that indicate that... She's either meticulously clean and she just never has to go through cleaning supplies. Or they're like brand new because she's going through cleaning supplies all the time. Anid must have... Okay, that one. Anid must have restocked recently. Huh. Just sit here. Anid's couch. It has almost velvety texture to it, but it's still cozy. Little tiny chair. You're not sure if anyone's ever sit in this chair. Maybe next time you come over, it'll make for a nice change of pace. Anid. Whoa, she has a plant in the corner. Need. Whoa. It needs fashionable outputs. Hang inside. However, they offer no sign of a need or your missing plush. Window with your long curtains. Not your taste. Hmm. Nightstand. Oh, a nightstand beside a needs bed. It's full of mostly junk and jewelry. But amidst the trinkets. Could I use this? You were, oh, a door key. Wow, we are going old school. Needs bed. When you brush your hand down the mattress, you're amazed by how soft it feels. Hmm. Whoa. There is no toilet in the bathroom. A small bathroom vanity. Your plush toy cannot be found in the cabinets. Huh. A bathtub shower combo with a long orange curtain. It smells like shampoo. Oh, okay, we just have the door key. We don't get a look at it. 
Let me see. He unlocked the door. What the he A treasure chest? Wait, this is a little odd. Basement storage unit, it's heavy and the handle is cold. Opening it up. We're going to walk around just a little bit more. Okay, so we won't immediately go and open that thing. What's this? An empty dresser drawer with lamp on top. Okay. Washer dryer pair sits in the basement. Is your hamper full back at home? You don't remember. Huh. What about this? There's a chest here. It's locked. If your plush is in here, you don't need... Oh, you need another key to access it. Huh. Is there another key somewhere? No. Huh. Maybe there is another key somewhere. Uh, do we just leave? Sneaky sneak. You grab the knob to open the door and run home. But you hear someone coming up the walkway. I need to hide. Oh, let's see. Under the table. You scurry under the table. Allie? Oh, she found me. <laughs> you want to go home? Okay, let's see. Let's think for just a second. <laughs> no. Hmm. You hop in the shower and pull the curtain closed. You hear the door open. Someone is in the room with you. It's getting harder to control your breathing. But you have to try. You hear the sink start running. And then it stops. It's quiet again. Do you want to get out of the shower now? No. You wait a few min moments longer. Yeah. You need to get out of the house. You start to back away from the door when... Someone is coming this way again. Oh, dude, come on. Maybe the... Okay, my thoughts are, maybe she's like, I didn't check the shower. You dive into the wardrobe, hoping... Okay. You hear someone enter the room you're in once again. You struggle to stay still and quiet. Don't move. Hold your breath. Don't let her know you're here. She totally did. She went and checked the shower again. It's quiet again.
I thought I was home free. I was thanking my lucky stars before I was even out the door. I should not have done that. Allie! Allie, what are you doing here? Did something happen? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. I mean, no, uh, everything's fine. I just came here because my doll was thrown into your house the other day. And when I knocked, your door was open. Ah, uh, oh, silly me. I must have left it open when I came back home today. As for your little dolly, though, no worries. I put it away for safekeeping. I'll go get it for you. And he'd left the room to get my plushie back for me. Run. Looking back in that moment, I probably should have just left. Oh, no. Actually, maybe not. That might have made it worse. I don't know. She came back and gave me the toy. And after that, I should have said thank you and left. I guess I was just so nervous I couldn't help but keep talking. I still wish I hadn't. There you go, safe and sound. Thanks, Anid. I, uh, I guess it's good you didn't go on that date after all, eh? Oh, that. I've been waiting for him all night, but he hasn't shown up. Not even a call. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's all right. The night's isn't a total waste. You know... Oh, I know, you just had some the other day. But I had bought a new cake for Mr. Chase and I to share. Since he's not here, you get this slice if you'd like. Really? Awesome, thanks. Here, you get the cake from the fridge and I'll go get the nice china. Yeah, sure thing. We're dead. We're dead. I walked up to the refrigerator and opened the door. Oh, goodness. I really did swear I had moved it already. I suppose that's what I get for rushing. I turned my head up to her and I said, You, uh, you kill people. Ah, uh, oh, honey. I don't just kill people. I eat them. Aha. Uh -huh. She said it in such a silly way. The kind of tone a kindergartner teacher uses when telling her students a scary story. Clawing her sharp nails out in front of me before cracking into another laugh. As if she were pretending to be spooky witch in a children's play. I mean... Can you blame me? Mr. Chase was such a handsome man. And so polite with me, too. Who wouldn't want to eat him right up? Though, he was a bit of the jealous type. If he found out, he's not the only date to wind up like this. I think he'd have been a little upset. I wish I could feel that sometimes. Jealous. It'd mean I'd have a connection I really care about. Like you and I, we're close, aren't we? When you told me before. Thank you for being my friend. That felt really nice. It must feel a lot lighter to love with your heart instead with your stomach. But does it ever stay full? Why are you telling me all of this? Oh, I mean that's just because. You're not going to tell anyone. You can promise me that, can't you? Yeah, of course. What else was I supposed to do? I could have said anything to leave. Um, what happens if I break the promise? I asked her, and she just stared at me. <laughs> and then she started laughing. <laughs> like what I just said was really funny. The last words I remember hearing from her were good night, Allie, as she gently shooed me out her front door. And I walked home. Hey, Allie Cat, there you are. It was getting late, and I was starting to get worried about you. Yeah, sorry, Dad.
I was just, uh, out of needs. Yeah, I figure. Hope a need didn't fill you up on sweets too much while you were there. Dinner's ready. Come sit. I dare say I outdid myself tonight. I didn't get any sleep that night. All I could do was sit up in bed and stare across the street at Anit's house, as if waiting for something to happen, like I'd see her walk out the door and start making her way towards my house. That didn't happen, though. Eventually, the lights in her house went off, but I still didn't go to bed. I just sat there and kept watch. And I stayed that way until morning. If you're hoping for some gruesome end to this story, like her coming after me or my father or something, you'll be sorely disappointed. I kept my promise and she left me alone. And nothing ever happened to her, either. When Mr. Chase was declared missing, she allegedly told the officers that he never showed up for their date. And I guess she cleaned up really well because I didn't see them bother her again after that. The Chase kids ended up being taken in by their aunt down the block. And eventually... Mr. Chase's case went cold. I hope he's not mad at me for that. I think I like to think he'd understand. I didn't really see a need after that either. I didn't want to. When it came to things like babysitting, I told Dad I was too old for that now and could stay home alone. When he would ask me if I had visited her lately, I would sometimes lie and say I did, so he wouldn't think anything was weird. I wonder if she ever told him otherwise. I guess I'll never know. That brings us to today. And he doesn't live here anymore. She hasn't for a while. I just realized that she's a baseball player. Wow. And I'm not really sure where she went. I remember some moving trucks in front of her house one day. And she left with them and that was that. She didn't live here anymore. And no one else ever moved in either. Now it's just the old abandoned house on the block. I won't be surprised if, if the neighborhood's kids start saying it's haunted. It might as well be. I still haven't told anyone. I promised I wouldn't. And there's some part of me that feels like, uh, no matter where she is or what she's doing right now, she'll know if I break it. Allie! Claudie! Hey! You were star or staring pretty intensely at an aid old place. You're not still mad about the time I threw your dolly in there, right? Come on, babe, I apologize for it like a bazillion times now. Haha, <laughs> no, no, we're cool with it now, I swear. Okay, good. I was just starting to get you because me and the other girls were heading to the arcade, and we wanted to invite you. But I see you've got all your gear on, so if you're too busy with practicing or something... Uh, yeah, I can come. I could use a good trip to the arcade. Sick, let's go. I don't know what happened to a need. I probably never will. And I think I'm okay with that. It's better if I'd never know. It's certainly been easier to breathe ever since she left. And despite all the mental scars she left me with, I've been doing okay. I've got a pretty alright life. And I'm trying not to feel too guilty about enjoying it. When I think about Anita, I always remember that thing she said. Something about loving with your stomach instead of your heart. I hope that for the sake of others, at least. She learned some way to keep them both full. Normal end. What's this under here? Received strange key.
Maybe in a bit. There's just some stuff I gotta do around here first, chores and all, you know. Alrighty then. We're gonna be hanging the whole day, so just text if you wanna join in later too. Sounds good. Thanks, Crab Cakes. I'll meet up with you guys later. Whoa. The door wasn't even locked. Last time I stepped foot in this house was that night. Sometimes after so many years, I find myself wondering if it even really happened. Maybe I just had some crazy bad dream. Or maybe that's just what I like to tell myself. But I didn't think that after so long, and so much dust, this place would still smell like her. Shockingly, Anid's old fridge still has some notes of hers left on it. You're a bit disturbed to see that your birthday is listed here. Underneath your birthday is the word cake. You assume that maybe she was planning to deliver you one. Maybe invite you over on your birthday. But in your past birthdays since then, you were never invited over or received a cake from her. You wonder what year this was for. For some reason, that makes you feel relieved. The oven is so dusty, you like that it's no longer in use. The cabinets are completely empty. Oh boy. The bookcase and all its books have been left here. You guessed we need books were only decoration. Well, I got a bad feeling. Oh. If memory serves, this dresser used to contain a lot of jewelry. All of it's gone now. It's probably best to leave the shower pee. Moisture in the air probably created mold behind the curtain. Your reflection is obscured by dust and grime on the mirror. Maybe it's better that way. Hmm. Well, I mean, we both know where we want to go look, right? Anything? Most of the furniture has been removed from a needs move, but mysteriously, this unit remains. There's nothing left inside it, though. Nothing but dust, anyways. The hall closet has been emptied of all its contents. Never seen one so empty. Oh my god, the little chest is still there. You're surprised the washer-dryer combo is still here. Maybe they were too outdated by the time she left. Dude, they're just hard to move. <laughs> Some things never change. Nothing is worth opening this unit again. You don't even want to risk it. You tell yourself there's nothing inside and you hope that it's true. All right. The last night I was here, I found a key hidden under a needs bed. I was never sure what it was for, but it always kept it on me. I'm sure it must be for this. You put the key into the lock. The chest opens. You kneel down and begin to shuffle through the contents. A note at the very top of everything inside reads, Gifts from my past lovers. It puts a bit of a knot in your stomach as you begin to dig through them. The first thing you pull out is a teddy bear. Its fur is red. It's holding a velvet red heart. The pink ribbon around its neck is dotted with hearts as well. The next gift you pull out isn't a gift at all. It's a gift bag, one with a smiley clown on it. There's nothing inside it anymore. Well, there is an envelope, but that's empty too. You assume this whole gift was for a birthday, but you have no way of knowing. This gift also isn't really a gift. It's a letter. Dear Anid, I hope you don't find it too cheesy that I'm writing this in a letter. A bit of old school sometimes. But I'm also dumping this in your mailbox because I think it's a bit hard to say it to your face. I know I've already been dating for a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know I like you. I really like you. I always thought that opposites attract was just a myth, but after meeting you, I'm starting to believe it. I don't think I've ever fallen for anybody this badly. Every time I see you, it's like there's butterflies in my stomach. But despite the butterflies, I also feel so comfortable around you. Like I could tell you anything and you'd listen. And you do listen. And even with all my fucked up baggage, you still ask to take me out again and again. I'm so happy with you and just really wanted you to know that. You're everything. I don't know where I'm going with this. Just consider it a love letter. I love you, Anid. I hope... You like the pictures, too. They came out really nice. And I think we look cute together. Excited to join you for dinner later. Your girlfriend. 
Oh. N no way. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god! No! No! Oh no! Our first- Oh no! Oh, you have gotta be kidding! What? A need! Oh my god! Holy hell! Well, everybody, that's gonna be it for My Neighbor in Need. Uh, well, that was a bit of a stab in the heart at the very, very end there. I was wondering, okay, at the very beginning, we had a whole thing about writing letters with our sister. I was like, that's gotta come back somehow, right? Holy, why did like that? Wonderful as always, very enjoyable. Absolutely loved the twist. And um, I guess that's going to be it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.